hey guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing well in today's video we are gonna be doing something similar to what we did in yesterday's video uh but with a different cup of a copa america showdown review or a showdown what do you say prediction whatever you guys want to call it we are going to be looking at two different players from two different countries which are going head to head in the copa america finals whenever it's happening whenever this video is going to go out i'm pretty sure this gonna, video is going to go out before the finals of euros and copa america so we have we have yazer asprilla from colombia and we have valentin farboni from argentina now one of these guys are gonna get i think a plus two upgrade if i'm not wrong and we are gonna be having a little bit of fun with this make sure you guys go right now to the comments and let me know your prediction for the copa america final is argentina gonna win or is gonna colombia gonna come from behind and snatch the trophy from argentina's hand and run away with it now who is gonna win i don't know i'm gonna give my prediction at the end of this video and we are gonna be we are gonna do that in a form of completing the sbc of the player whom i think is gonna win which country is gonna win either carboni or asprilla we'll look at that at the end of the video now jumping straight into jumping straight into today's video which is gonna be the first card from argentina we have carboni representing argentina five star weak foot first star skill move insane card cam striker alternate position amazing and looking at the stats he has really good stats i'm not gonna lie amazing stats 94 pace 96 passing 95 dribbling are so nice to look and his shooting stats it's just 83 but i already see a 99 i have already see two 99s but the overall stats it says 83 which is crazy you know i don't know how this whole average thing works now maybe matches a lie now he has 86 attacking position 77 finishing 77 volley 76 shoot long shot but he has 99 shot par and 99 penalties now let's ignore penalties for a bit 99 shot par you know finishing is a bit bad but 99 shot par that is insane guys and looking at passing he has three 99s over there he has 99 vision he has 99 shot pass and long pass and he has 94 curve which is kind of i'm gonna give it like an almost 99 we'll keep it like this yeah <laughs> i don't know if this is a bad sign but 94 cur curve 99 long pass 99 short pass and 99 vision is amazing with 88 crossing um crossing is not very important because he is a center attacking mid or a striker or uh, you can use him in one of these two positions or any of these two positions and 95 dribbling 99 balance 99 ball control 99 composure and 94 dribbling i don't know how many times i've told 99 so far but i'm losing track of it and defensive stats for a cam for a striker having 82 defense is insane and having 99 slate tackle and 97 stand tackle is amazing as well he has 90 stamina 86 jumping and 85 strength now moving on to play styles i am going a bit too fast in today's video because yesterday's video was a bit too long i don't want to keep it that long uh looking at the play style pluses finish shot plus love it i'm in love with finish shot plus and he has incisive pass plus he has rapid plus and press proven plus i am actually happy with all these play style pluses you know coming out for showdown cards all these play style pluses have been really really insane now since we saw the first card now we'll have an idea of we, what we're going to be looking at this Yazar Aprilas card with because we can compare we can compare these two and I am going to do a brave decision in the end I don't know how many of you guys are able to predict what my uh, my predictions are going to be I don't know if you guys will predict my predictions that is going to be insane now the second card Yazar Asp uh, Asprilla from Colombia how good is he he plays for Watford I don't know how many of you guys knew that I don't know that my ball knowledge is bad now he also has 5 star skill move which is amazing and he can be played at cam and cm so two center midfield two midfield positions for this card is actually pretty decent cam and striker was also really good so when it comes to alternate positions they have pretty decent alternate positions not mad about it now coming to the stats i already see two yellows there i think we saw one red but we didn't see any yellows but here i see two yellows is it concerning not really 
Wall is 66. Do I care? Not sure. He's going to be passing most of the time. He's going to be taking shots most of the time. I don't see where he's going to be getting wall is from. And interception, 68. Do I care? Not really. 92 stand tackle. Decent. I can manage with that. And uh, I think defensive stats. For a center midfielder, I'm looking, I'm talking about the second position, alternate position. For a center midfielder, who is going to be compared with a striker, secondary position, 80 defending is a bit low. Is a bit low. Stand tackle, slide tackle, very weak. I don't know. I feel like his defensive stats could have been better. Uh, but apart from that, as of now, defending wise, Carboni is winning. Aspilla is 1 nil down on stats. And looking at dribbling, I don't see any 99s. Okay, I see one 99 over there in long pass. But Carboni had like 5, 6 99s there. I'm guessing 99 uh, long pass is really good. 97 short pass is also amazing. 95 vision is also really good. 91 curve is also really good. And under shooting, he has only 87 shooting. But he also has 93 short pass and 97 attacking position which is uh good as well and 92 acceleration 96 sprint speed you know what for a center midfielder i would happily take these uh stats except for the defensive stats but for a cam we are looking at cam mm, i think carboni wins here i think carboni wins here by a mile now since we looked at the stats let's go to the playstyle pluses long ball plus power shot plus relentless plus and quick step plus again again i'm telling you guys really good playstyle pluses uh i'm happy with the playstyle pluses for the past four cards and uh now con coming to a conclusion between these two cards which card is better and one more thing to complete any of these two uh squad builds or sbcs you just have to put in an 87 rated player you don't have to put an inform or a team of the season for this one uh, i'm pretty sure for both it's going to be the same so 87 87 while having a colombian player for uh, asprilla or an argentine player for carboni simple as that is 87 worth it for any of these two cards i think an 87 rated squad is going to be only worth it for carboni looking at the stats uh, I think Carboni wins game. Not gonna lie. I think he gets the upper hand here. Even though with his 83 shooting compared to Asprilla's 87 shooting, looking at stats in depth, I am gonna give it to him. I am gonna give it to him. Uh, defending, even though his interception is 47, for a person who has secondary position as striker, he is pretty decent. 99 slide tackle, 97 sli uh, stand tackle. I am more than buzzing with this card now what we are going to be doing my prediction who is going to win argentina or colombia hear me out hear me out yeah so <laughs> this is going to come as a shock you guys might be think i am on something but i am going to be guessing this doesn't go to extra time at all this doesn't go to extra time at all and colombia are gonna be very defensive and they have very attacking mindset players as well we have seen that Make sure you guys go watch my bro uh, Borja uh, player review, which was the Copa America Path to Glory player. I think two videos before this one. Amazing player. Here, Asprilla, amazing card. Amazing card in game. So he's going to be insane in real life. That is how FIFA works. If he's really good in game, I mean in real life, they somehow dumb, in, dumb him down in the game. If they are on par or okay in real life, they give them a good card in game just because of their particular country or the people they play with uh, a lot of influencing thing happens here so i don't know in game i mean on paper in this game in fc24 carbon is better now my predictions is colombia gonna win or is argentina gonna win colombia is gonna win according to me colombia gonna win 2-1 they're gonna be annoyingly good at defending and they're gonna get that one or two counter attacking uh, players where uh, Argentina is going to get caught slacking and they are going to pocket in two goals and they are going to concede one goal. So it's going to be 2-1 to Colombia and Colombia will lift the trophy. Hope my predictions are right. Hope my predictions for Euros are also right. Make sure you guys go check that video out to see my prediction. I will see you guys in the next video. But we are not going to end the video yet. I need to complete the Asperla card and put him in my team. 
and i'm gonna keep him in my team and see whether my predictions are right you know let me just complete this card and i'll take you to my squad okay so this is the squad i've put in to get the asperla card i don't really use those two special promo cards so i'm just gonna put them in and we have put in a couple of 86 88 rated players we're putting two 88 rated players don't really care about these players so i'm not gonna be too mad about it now for this card uh, for this sbc you need to complete only an 86 rated squad while having a colombian player in it now for uh, carbon i'm pretty sure it's an 87 rated squad the last time i checked it was 87 rated squad so i'm hoping it is not changed or maybe i'm not tripping and stuff so actually let us complete this uh, i don't know who is who who is why who is what so let us just complete this and then forget about all the players that we have lost now you guys will look at my squad and be like wow you guys might be thinking i have to be good in game right but that is totally wrong because i am so bad even i don't know how bad I, how i can be this bad like it is insane guys how bad i am at this game i don't understand why i'm this bad but it is it is what it is i'm just gonna bring huller to the side i'm gonna take on a gallagher um most of the players that you guys are watching right now looking at right now the sbcs have been completed so you guys will kind of have an idea of what these players look like in game as well i've done player review for martinez i've done player review for uh, garnacho for most of these players in the bench um and most of the players in my club are there all these guys player reviews are there mohika shabos light um, pretty sure uh, stacky was also there um so yeah many player reviews videos are there in the channel if you guys are bored and you guys want to watch some fifa videos make sure you guys check out the channel every single day i'm uploading so i'm pretty sure you guys won't be bored now i am not getting any chemistry style on him so if i have to increase something i'm going to be increasing without a doubt shooting and dribbling uh passing not really cared about that much shooting and dribbling are the two places which i want to increase so if i have to increase shooting and dribbling um what do i use what do i use what do i use shooting and dribbling dribbling and passing i think dribbling and passing also might work i need to increase dribbling guys it's so bad uh wait, wait, wait shooting and dribbling yeah there you go if i put him if i put if i put finisher on him does he get anything here because he doesn't have any chemistry plus okay even with finisher he doesn't get any boost so he needs at least plus one whom do i bring in to get like I'm trying my best, but I'm gonna ignore it for now. For the sake of today's video, I'll just leave it like this and we'll call it a day. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have got your predictions in. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully, Colombia win and hopefully, England win. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care, stay safe, stay motivated, and keep smiling, guys. Bye bye.